Welcome back to page 121. I'm uh, having a little bit of a bout of our good friend COVID, I think. Uh, so I will not be appearing on camera this week because I look quite ghastly. I'm just going to knock out a couple of <clears throat> short videos while I still have a voice. Uh, hopefully in the next week or so I'll be back to normal. Today we're going to take a look at uh, combat armor from the Traveler Corps Rulebook 2022 update by Mongoose. And here we go. <clears throat> Let's get to the combat armor. Oh, they don't have a picture of the combat armor. Yes, they do. There's combat armor right there. That's your combat armor. It looks a lot like the uh, combat armor Bobby wanders around in in the Expanse. Although hers would be closer, I think, to battle dress. But uh, the combat armor, as shown here, at tech level 10, you're plus 13 protection. Tech level 12, plus 17 protection. Tech level 14, plus 19 protection. So pretty important uh, use there. And then reds, tech level, uh, you get 40 at tech level 10, 30 at tech level 12, and 22 at tech level nine or tech level uh, 14 uh, it's kind of heavy 20 kilograms at tech level 10 16 kilograms at tech level 12 and then 12 kilograms at tech level 14 and then it gets progressively more expensive 96,000 it actually drops at uh, tech level 12 to 88,000 simply because it's gotten a little easier to manufacture and then it jumps to 160,000 and then your skill you need is for tech level 10, you need Vac Suit 1. And then for the other, you need no skill whatsoever, Vac Suit 0. So what does this do for you? It uh, kind of makes you a, a, a walking tank to small arms fire. If you're going to get into a situation with uh, just small weapons being present, you're, if you're at tech level 17, we'll say, or tech level 12, I'm sorry, tech level 12 at plus 17 protection, uh, you're going to be pretty much untouched by small arms. Uh, unless they can bring up some kind of rocket launcher or grenade situation, they're not going to be able to breach your suit. You're going to be able to walk through the fire. That is pretty important for a lot of the uses of this, and it's usually a military uh, application. However, I my players in the last game I ran, which unfortunately was quite a while ago, uh, ended up in possession through a ship that they had and things like that. Uh, they ended up in possession with four full suits of combat armor and I made it tech level 12 and they are very excited because they're going to be using this they've decided to be pirates if you followed my channel for a while you know they started out as nice merchants uh actually retired scout in the scout ship and his friends and they decided to go into the pirate's life for me so they have an armed merchant that they've been using and they've had good success with it so far they're not using the uh, scout ship for their piracy but the merchant has a transponder that they can change, and they, they have some ways to uh, hide the exterior of the vessel uh, so they don't get pinched right away. And they're operating in District 268, so it's fairly lawless down there where they're working. So they've come across uh, some combat armor, and they are going to be using that as their boarding dress. They are just going to cross from their ship to the enemy ship wearing combat armor because they figure small arms fire is all they're going to have to deal with. So why worry? Let's just go ahead in the combat armor and then we're sealed against vacuum and then we're pretty much going to be proof against whatever weapons they can bring to bear. So we haven't had a chance to play that yet so that I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do. One of the ways uh, to uh, deal with the, the board being boarded in, by someone in combat armor is of course to to blow the breaching lock or whatever umbilical there is. But then, of course, you run the risk as the one being boarded of just being blown out of space by the one who got you into range in the first place. So I, I still haven't worked out the logistics yet. They're going to have a little joy with it at first. They were pretty innovative in getting the armor in the first place. Uh, so I like to reward that, but I don't let it run right over my campaign. So I'm going to have, let them have some fun. They're already licking their chops the possibility of getting battle dress. Uh, I have explained to them that that may be down the line or not at all. Traveler doesn't really have levels per a D&D &D type game, but there are levels of uh, combat and equipment in the game that come with money. And combat armor is, is one of the expressions of that. So once you start getting into combat armor, 
uh, you start getting into the, quote, higher level, unquote, of Traveler. And I know everybody's going to say, oh, there's no levels in Traveler. I know that. I'm using that just as, as an equivocal, or not equivocal, but equivalent. Uh, and I'm also not, operate, not operating on full cylinders. So um, that's it. I'm just trying to get a couple of videos shot. Uh, if this bout of COVID is anything like the last one, I'm going to be laid up pretty good. Uh, and I won't have a voice in about a day. So I'm trying to knock out a couple of uh, videos so I can uh, at least throw out one a day. Uh, but that's it. No promises I'll be able to make that. But that's all I've got for today on page 121. I want to thank you for your time. Uh, everybody be well, and I'll see you next time.